All right, time to put people on blast on the internet. This can only go well, right? So, bit a uh, bit of a sticky wicket I had this past week with my car. And by sticky wicket, I mean an Amazon driver ripped off my front bumper. Jesus, God, the more I say that, the stranger it sounds in context. Like, how is this even possible, Amazon? Your drivers, you know, drive for a living. Shouldn't they be able to maneuver through tight spaces like this at any kind of reasonable speed? And I'm not saying they have to crawl through the street at like two miles an hour, but enough to get through the street without ripping off a front bumper. And look, I know everyone's having a hard time right now with a global pandemic and all, and it would be amazing to have a job right now, speaking from experience. If you can't do this job, effectively, either don't or take the things out of the truck first and deliver them. Don't try to gun through a section where you know you can't. This is not a difficult concept to understand, but here we are anyway. So at this point, I have no idea what happened. All I know is people were running out of the house trying to figure out what was going on. And then I saw the security camera footage and Jesus Christ, it was like watching a snuff film for my car. And that sound is going to haunt me until I get rid of that car. That awful awful sound of just a front bumper being ripped off of the frame. Good God. So now after all of that said and done, I have ambulance chasers after me because of course I do. The funniest thing about that is this van hit a stationary vehicle that was unoccupied. Why do I have personal injury attorneys coming after me saying, we'll get you the coverage you need when no one was injured? You were staring at the police reports and you can't figure out that no one was injured because of those circumstances? So if all of this wasn't bad enough, then I gotta start dealing with insurance for this. Cause I'll be damned if I'm fronting the cost of a new bumper from an accident that was not my fault. And of course, like all insurance companies, they've been dragging their feet ever since. I'm not even sure the insurance adjuster handling my claim exists. It's been five days since this happened, and whenever I try to get in contact with the adjuster, like, oh, well, we're processing it and it'll be done within a few days. Five days. You can't process this within five days? Aren't there fewer people on the road right now because of a global pandemic and no one can go anywhere right now? And of course, I've been reassured that this will absolutely be taken care of to the highest possible levels. Yeah, sure, I've never heard that one before. Now is where things get even stranger if that was even possible. So I get a call from Fireteam Logistics. And for those of you who don't know, that is Amazon's courier contractor that all of their trucks go through, at least in the area where I live. And basically this guy said they will cover all of the damage costs out of pocket and even throw in a rental car. Never mind the fact that I am not legally allowed to drive a rental car, but that's a whole other can of worms I don't want to get into because of how stupid it is. And hell no, you're not covering this out of pocket. So honestly, when they initially jumped to we'll cover it out of pocket, I completely thought this was a scam. What kind of reasonable company that has this many drivers on the road would want to cover this out of pocket right off the bat without talking to insurance. I've had this happen before where someone says, oh, well, we'll cover this out of pocket. No problems, no questions asked. And guess what they didn't do? Didn't pay it before the insurance company had to go after them. Because I want assurances, damn it. So a few more days go by and I get another call from this guy. And basically this time he says, okay, we'll cover it out of insurance. Just get in contact with us so we can figure all of this out. Okay, on the surface, no problem. I would rather go through insurance anyway. So yeah, let's get this sorted out. So I called this guy back and he says, yeah, no, we still wanna go through this out of pocket instead of going through insurance and we can't do anything until you okay it. One, while I am not an insurance attorney, I think I have a pretty good understanding that if your company's vehicle damaged my car, the burden is on you to get that figured out. It is not on me. I'll contact my insurance company and figure it all out on that end, but it is your job to do it on your end. I cannot do that. That is not how any of this works. So what, I'm at the third point where I tell this guy, I don't wanna do this out of pocket. I want your insurance company to cover this so I know it's gonna be taken care of. And because of course this is the way it has to work because this guy represents a company that's trying to go around insurance. So this guy basically tells me, oh, thank you for being flexible in the most dickhead tone imaginable and hangs up the phone. And I have yet to hear from him since. 
and I doubt I'm ever going to again. So now I'm gonna have to call my insurance company to figure out how to get this taken care of and have them cover it because they don't wanna go through insurance on an $1,100 bumper job. This, this makes absolutely no sense. Like one, what are you trying to hide? Two, if you are in the logistics industry, you may not want to do this if you don't want to take a hit on your car insurance payments. In a nutshell, that's my Amazon horror story. I'd be really curious to see what anyone who's watching this has had to deal with from Amazon. If they actually covered any damage to property or vehicles that you've had, please let me know because this is driving me absolutely insane. Oh God, I just want my car back. I feel trapped in my house more than I already was before.